Okay, so um, drawing the shapes and filling them, as you've seen before, is um, best done using this tool here, the close polyline. Um, if I give you an example, I'm going to put the grid lock on here. I'm just going to draw um, three squares. Remember, if I right click, it seals them, joins them together. I'm going to copy this twice more. So I've got three different versions of the same thing. I'm just going to move these along and I'm going to line them up. I'm just going to show you the, the three different types of fill we can use. So if I fill the first one with color, I'm just going to go for a solid color. Um, I can choose a customized color by going over here, choose some sort of movie color like this maybe, say OK and OK. That's one done. I choose the next one with this one. I'm going to go for a graduated fill, which is the same as a gradient fill. And you can see the red on here shows me which color I'm going to change. So I'm going to change this black one maybe go for a green kind of color and I'm going to change this white one I'm going to make that maybe some sort of bluish type color so that's my graduation and I'm going to say OK and that one's applied the gradient fill and this last one I'm just going to apply a textured fill now when you go to texture you can um, load your textures there's a whole bunch of different ones in there they're all on the folder in your own um, on your own computer from when you install the software doesn't really matter what you go for, I'll just choose something random for now. Put that one in there, say OK. So I can use any of these kind of techniques to get the background colour into my shapes. The other thing I want to be able to do is I want to be able to put nice images and possibly logos and things like that, maybe even barcodes, onto my work and position them. But I want them to look nice. So what OK, so I've downloaded um, some images earlier. I'm going to open one of them now. This is uh, Cream Egg and here's my cream egg now a few things are wrong it's got a background lock on it which means I can't get rid of this white color and that means that's not transparent so it's going to show this white when I put it onto my Texoft drawing but I don't want to do that so I'm going to double click on here and I'm going to say okay and that removes the lock so now I can remove this background I'm going to go for this tool here which is the quick selection tool and I'm going to make by clicking on my square bracket on the keyboard I'm going to select a a bigger circle and I'm just going to highlight and press delete and everywhere where I've got white I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to highlight and press delete now over here when I've selected you can see it's actually selected part of the egg as well which I didn't want it to do you can see that at the moment the circle's got a plus on it if I hold down alt that plus turns into a minus and it allows me to add that bit back in again so I don't actually want to delete that part so I've highlighted that press my delete button again I'm still missing a tiny bit so I'm going to come up here get the last little bit and press delete at any point if I want to deselect I press ctrl and D to take the little marching ant selection off and there I'm left with my transparent egg all I need to do now is to do file save as and I'm going to call it um, cream egg PNG I've already had one I'm going to overwrite there's my cream egg PNG hit save and say OK say OK again this is the other one. Now this one, I've grabbed the um, Cadbury's logo, but you can see that it's got a white background and it's a way bigger than I need it to be. So what I'm going to do with this first of all is I'm going to double click on the little lock icon here and then say OK. Now the lock icon's gone, that means the background isn't protected. I can do what I want to it. So if I use the eraser tool, I'll show you that one. The eraser tool will basically get rid of the background for me. Um, there's lots of ways of doing it. Probably the easiest one in a case like this where you've got two different colors is to actually use this magic selection, a quick selection tool. And if I use the quick selection tool, I can increase the size of the um, circle by using my square brackets on my keyboard. And that will select a color for me. So you see that's selected all white. I'm going to press delete on my keyboard. If I press Control and D, it deselects. If I go again now at the bottom, select all the white, press delete again you can see there's a few places where it's left I'm going to do control D and deselect it again and then I'm going to use my magnifying glass and I'm going to zoom in and if I hold down shift when I move my mouse around I can actually move the image so anywhere now where I've still got white that I don't want that's a bit big so I'm going to make the head a bit smaller again using the keyboard um, bracket and every time I hit delete now I can get rid of these white bits and I'm going to keep doing that until it's all done. Okay, so I've got rid of all of the white from it. I'm going to bring it back to normal size by double clicking 
on the um, zoom tool here and that brings it back to normal size it's still bigger than I need it to be so I'm going to crop it like I did before so all I really want is the actual bit that says Cadbury otherwise the image is bigger than I need it to be it takes up more space it takes up more memory so I close this these bits off when I'm happy with the shape and size I hit the tick and again I'm going to save it I'm going to make sure it's a PNG file so if it's not you choose PNG from this drop down list and I'm actually going to call this again I'm going to call it Cadbury PNG this time so that I can make sure that I know what it's called when I'm going to use it say OK to that OK I'm back in Techsoft Designer now and what I want to be able to do is to bring in those two images so I'm going to do file and import I'm going to choose my cream egg first it was the one called cream egg PNG I'm going to choose that one click open now the only thing that you need to worry about in this little window that appears is inside color properties you have to tick this thing that says transparency if you don't click that it won't allow you to have transparent edges so I'm now going to say OK to that and I'm going to say OK over here and that will bring my egg in it's too big so I'm going to hold down the shift button now I might need to take off my grid lock first which I've just done and I'm going to shift and drag to make my egg smaller and then I'm going to position it somewhere so maybe I'll put it over here for now and I'll see what that looks like in a moment I click off it so it's still not quite right maybe it needs to be a bit smaller again drag it a bit more and there's my egg now I can do what I want with that if I want to make more of them I can make a duplicate put one somewhere else if I actually want to rotate it or do something with the egg I can do that as well it's up to me how I position it for the different faces I'll do the same thing then file import file to find the word Cabri which I did as well open that one up same thing color properties transparency and OK and OK again and there's my word Cabri which is again is too big I'm gonna shift that and drag and resize it and again I can put that word anywhere I want and move it all around